the flower of silence. Love is the flower of silence. It is mysterious, unseen, yet realized truth. It grows and blossoms in silence. Love blossoms from deep within, only in silence. Such flowering is communion. If you cannot be without thought, you cannot be in love and you cannot understand the mystery that love is. And then to be in prayer is impossible. And even if you pray, it is a chatter. To, to you, prayer is just a chattering with God. The moment you are in deep silence, you are loving. The moment you are in deep silence, you are loving. We have become so conditioned to chattering that even if we go to church or temple, we continue chattering there as well. We chatter with God. We talk with God. It is absolute nonsense. God existence cannot and does not understand your language. Existence understands only one language that is the language of silence. When there is silence, harmony grows within. And silence is neither Sanskrit, nor Arabic, nor English, nor Hindi. Silence is universal. It does not belong to anyone. Instead, it belongs to the existence. There are at least 4,000 languages on earth and everyone is enclosed in his or her own language. If you do not know his language, you cannot relate to that person. You cannot be related. If I do not understand your language and you do not understand my language, how can one relate to one another? We are strangers. We cannot penetrate each other. We cannot understand. We cannot penetrate each other. We cannot understand. We cannot love. This is happening only because we do not know a basic universal language that is silence. Really, only through silence one is related. And if you know the language of silence, then you can be related to anything. Because rocks are silent, trees are silent, the sky is silent. It is all existential. It is not only human, it is existence. Everything knows what silence is. Everything exists and evolves out of silence. Everything exists in silence and evolves out of silence. Love evolves, grows out of silence. If a rock is there in your hand, the rock is not chattering within itself while you are. That is why you cannot be related to the rock. Zen masters are said to have communicated with rocks. I have heard of one Zen master, he was a carpenter and the king asked him to prepare a chair and the master's king asked how long it will take. So the master said, I do not know yet. I have to go and find out which tree is ready to be converted 
into a chair. Two weeks passed, the king inquired. The master said, I went and I inquired from every tree. One tree said, I will be ready after two weeks. So you have to wait until then. A man of silence can communicate with anyone, sentient or insentient. The rock, you cannot be related to rock because of your inner chattering. And the rock is open, vulnerable and inviting. The tree is open, vulnerable and inviting you to commune with it. The rock will welcome you, but you are chattering and rock cannot understand your chattering. That becomes the barrier. So even with human beings, you cannot be in deep relationship. There can be no intimacy, language, words, all destroy everything. Silence nourishes and nurtures each relationship. Silence nourishes and nurtures relationship. Silence enriches intimacy in relationship. If you want to experience deep intimacy in a relationship, then you have to learn the art, the language of silence. La silence nourishes and nurtures relationship. Silence enriches the intimacy. A deep intimacy in relationship helps to develop and deepen trust in one another. The trust that one develops and that deepens in one another. It is because of the silence. Silence in relationship gives freedom to one another and respect for one another. Silence in relationship gives freedom to one another and respect for one another. Meditation is the way to silence. Meditation means silence. Not thinking about anything, not thinking at all, just be open, ready, eager to meet, welcoming, eager to dissolve, receptive and loving, but not thinking at all. Meditation is the way to silence. Meditation means silence, not thinking about anything, not thinking at all, just being open, ready, eager to meet, welcoming, receptive, ready to dissolve and loving, but not thinking at all. Then infinite love will happen to you then infinite love will happen to you and you will never say that no one loves me then you will never say that no one loves me whatsoever you do you will see this and you will feel this you will feel, you will realize the overflow of love deep within you. You may not even say it. You may pretend that someone loves you, but deep down, you know it is not. Even lovers go on asking each other, do you love me? In so many ways, they go on inquiring continuously Everyone is afraid, uncertain, and insecure. In many ways, they try to find out whether really lover loves them or not. 
and they can never be certain because the lover can say yes i love you but it will not give any guarantee there is no realization in you of that and unless love becomes your realization in the presence or in the absence of the person love becomes your realization you will continue to be asking how can you be at ease how can you know whether he is deceiving you or not he can argue he can convince you he can convince you intellectually but the heart will not be convinced heart gets convinced of love when it realizes so lovers are always in agony they cannot be convinced of the fact that the other loves how can you be convinced really there is no way to convince anyone through language and you are asking through language in order to realize love you have to understand you have to learn the language of silence and while the lover is there you are chattering in the mind questioning and arguing continuously you will never be convinced and you will always feel that you have not been loved and this becomes the deepest misery in everyone's life and this is happening not because someone is not loving you this is happening because you are closed in a wall you are closed within your thoughts nothing can penetrate the thoughts cannot be penetrated unless you drop them nothing can penetrate thoughts will not allow you to penetrate anything unless thoughts are dropped if you drop them the whole existence penetrates you if you drop the thoughts you enter the realm of silence and the entire existence sentient and insentient will start penetrating in you from all sides life will become enriched enough for now